Welcome back to Live with Lee and Haley. Well, Dr. Nina Loom joins us with a book that is changing the way people look at the world of medicine. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you Appreciate for having it. me. Yes. Uh, 20 contributors. Yes, sir. All women from the medical profession. Very correct. Yeah. So yeah. how did this come about? So this is one of those social media projects. Like we met online on a Facebook page and we're all physicians and we usually discuss issues that are particular to us as women in medicine. Mm -hmm. And we decided to come together and write a book about it because we figured we were not the only ones dealing with some of these issues that we discuss in the book. Um, we believe every woman can relate to our stories, whether professional or homemakers. And so we thought, why not put this out there in writing? Yeah. So tell me, I know having so many authors must make it much different, of course, than any other book. So what do you think the benefit is to having so many different people contributing? I think, you know, there's always a one-sided story, and nobody mm -hmm. likes that. We like to have a collective perspective mm -hmm. because that offers more validation to your, to your point. Um, so having 20 different authors come together, I think it gives a, very, a, a variety of perspectives because... The authors have different backgrounds. I mean, we're from all over sure. the world. I'm from Cameroon originally, moved to the States as an international student. Uh -huh. And there's authors in this book from India. There's people from Colombia. There's Native, Amer not Native Americans. Americans. Uh -huh. And so we're all coming together, and we ended up finding out that we had a common um, story, I irrespective of our origins. Uh -huh. And so that's what's really neat about it. Is you, and then with that, you have different specialties included in the book as well. I'm primary care, but in the same book, you have a perspective of a general surgeon, you have a perspective of a psychiatrist, internal gotcha. medicine, family medicine, obstetrics, gynecology. So it, it offers validation to the story of empowerment that we're trying to put out. I was going to ask with all those different perspectives, what was the commonality that you found? So insight, empowerment, yes. mm -hmm. um, and just what it takes to be a woman working in a, in a very competitive um, uh, environment, which I, is medicine. You That's know, very cool. I'm, this is going to sound like a slight to men, but I prefer ladies when it comes to convalescence and health care, just because there's an innate nurturing built into that. I, I always find is not sometimes with guys, they get a little cold, I think, with, right. their, with their bedside <laughs> with the, manner. Right. You know what I, mean? I understand what you mean. There was a study that was published in JAMA, which is a journal of American JAMA, anyhow. Mm -hmm. And the good thing about that study was it showed that there was um, better outcomes with female physicians over male physicians in one setting. Right. Now, not to take away from our male counterparts, uh -huh. they do great work. Yeah. And I always say this, women empowerment does not mean that you're right. taking the power away from a man. We're mm -hmm. just highlighting stories and experiences that are not often talked about. Often better listeners, though, and a lot of times Very patients true. just want yeah. somebody to hear them. Very true. There is a sense of nurturing, just being a woman, because we're natural mothers. Yeah. You know, we're daughters, we're, we're sisters, so we come with that as well. Well, you can check out their website, womeninwhitecoats.com, and you can follow the links to order the book on Amazon or order it directly from there. And you can also purchase a copy at Barnes & Noble. Doctor, thank you for coming in. Thank Great you to for see having you. Me. Nice to meet you. Thank you. All right, guys, we'll find out who our pet of the day is coming up in just a bit.